Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed it and had a lovely day. If you did not get to celebrate it with your significant other, I hope that you took time to celebrate yourself. It's definitely important that we take care of ourselves. So I went to Hobby Lobby for some good Easter stuff, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I found. I found some really adorable, fun stuff that I wanted to share with you. Now, this video is not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I like, I don't like to mess up all my words, but it just happens. My craft room is not perfect, but I just thought I'd come on face to face with you guys again because you guys seemed to enjoy it in the last video. I did just get done filming another Dollar Tree haul um, because you can't keep me out of Dollar Tree for some reason. It doesn't matter if I have everything I need. I just love going into that store. So anyways, let's dive in and show you all the fun stuff I got for Hobby Lobby. Now, real quick, I did want to update for the ones that wanted to know. Today will be my third shot on Wagovi, and I'm down eight pounds. I am here for it. Eight pounds in two weeks with all the hard work that I did for the last six months with no results for me to lose eight pounds in two weeks makes me so excited. And I can tell. I can tell in the way my clothes fit. I can tell in my energy. My um, side effects, side effects, my side effects hasn't been too bad. Just a little bit of nausea here and there. I have Zofran for that. I haven't been hungry that bad at all. Um, and a couple little headaches too. But other than that, great energy, great sleep. It's just, it's crazy how that works, right? Okay, with that being said, let's dive in to show y'all my goodies. All right, we're, we're a dollar, we're a dollar. We're, we're a minute and 50 seconds in already, girl. Like I said, I've already done a couple of videos. Look at these little stinkers. Are they not the cutest? Oh my goodness, these were in the kids craft and I thought they'd be perfect in my tiered tray. So, so, so cute. And then look at these. We got itsy bitsy baby carrots. They're so little. They're like the size of my pinky, like the tip of my pinky. These I thought were a little pricey. They were $3.99, but I wanted to have two of them. I don't remember these out or being out last year, so I thought they were a great find. And I wanted to make sure I had them in my stash. And then you guys, I've seen Dollar Tree, or at least I've seen some girls use some Dollar Tree bunnies like this um, that already have the little pom-pom on the butt but I haven't found them at my Dollar Tree. So I love the shape of these. So I wanted to make sure that I grabbed two packs of them and you get 10 pieces in both packs and I can paint them whatever color I want. I love it. I got tons of Easter wood veneers and wooden stuff. So they'd be perfect with that. And then I also picked, they're calling these Easter icons for $2.99. And I'm pretty sure these are new shapes from last year because I did go ahead and get some, um, like all of my wooden shapes together so I can keep them all in one place. And last year we had this egg. So that's a little different. We had this chick. Yeah, he's not in there anymore. Um, we had this rabbit. Yeah, they're different y'all. So yeah, they're definitely different. I really like this shape. I love this shape. And then the happy Easter. I even like the carrots. So so cute. What's this? A little baby chick hatching. So cute. Gotta have it. And then I also picked up Happy Easter. This is such a great find. I love my little Easter words for my DIYs. So I picked up two of those. And then I also found so cute. They're already painted, already good to go. Jelly beans and hop and Easter. These are adorable and they're affordable. $3.49 for all of those. I love it. And then I also found, where's it at? Got these, got these. Okay, eggs. Now we're moving on to eggs. We got these plain eggs that are paint yourself or color yourself. I think they're meant for kids, but they're perfect for DIYing, especially for a garland, especially if you're looking for one certain color, because then you can paint them the colors you want. And they're plastic instead of the styrofoam eggs from Dollar Tree, because the styrofoam eggs are, um, if you take your heat gun to them, they melt and bubble. They don't look as great. And then I also found these speckled eggs. They're gold leafing. Aren't they beautiful? So, so beautiful. I thought they'd be perfect for my tiered tray. And then I also found these speckled eggs. So these guys are pastel speckled eggs. Two packs of them for $1.99. Good price. However, 
I found these spackled eggs, then went to Dollar Tree and found these spackled eggs, and I was like, uh-uh, I gotta have these too. I don't know why. I got plenty of spackled eggs, but I gotta have them too. Girl, uh, you gotta give me all these stores. My pocketbook is hurting. And then I also found these spackled eggs, <laughs> but these are for more of a decor egg. Um, I love them though. I, I don't know why. They're definitely bigger. They got more substance to them. They're already painted and speckled. So, yeah, I picked these up. These were $5.99. And then in their clearance section, they have this adorable little dough bowl. And it's $1.39. And I bought these eggs to go in my dough bowl. So, not only is it farmhouse, but it's also Easter. So, I probably leave this out all year long. I have not only my tiered tray now, I also decorate my shelf for each holiday. So I need kind of like bigger pieces that'll go on my shelf. And then let's move right along. Of course, I also found this is hilarious. Welcome-ish. This on a wreath on my back door is perfect for my household because it depends on who you are if you're welcome. <laughs> it does. I'm not playing. This is so funny. Welcome-ish. There was only one and it was only $1.99 with 40% off. Had there been more, I probably would have picked up definitely more. Okay. And then we have, um, also speaking, let's see, the clearance was adobe. Then I also found some paints on clearance. These were only 15 cents. Oh, I love a good bargain. So I found a fuchsia pink, a burnt orange, a really pretty powder blue. So pretty. And then a lavender color. You can't beat 15 cent paint. You guys, I mean, you really can't paint's expensive. And then also in the clearance, up at the front, they had these on clearance. They had a blueberry hand sanitizer for $0.32, cents, two of them, and one lemon. I'm kind of curious. If you guys know, I've kind of been the one to volunteer to get sanitizer for our store from where I work. I'm kind of curious, though. Blueberry sanitizer? I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to try it. Let's try it. Okay. Let the alcohol get out of there. It smells like blueberries. Nah, uh, it smells like blueberries, but it's not like a yummy smell. It's like a, it doesn't smell like alcohol, which is great, <laughs> I guess. Okay, and then I also picked up from the His and Hers that was 50% off some lamb's ear. These are perfect little picks that are pretty affordable. They're $1.99, like I said, with usually 40 or 50% off um, for like your DIYing, your reefs, all that good stuff. And they're like the perfect size too. So I picked up two of those. And then I also picked up this It's a Bitsy Little Bunny. He is adorable. He was kind of pricey. He was $2.99. I think he is a place card, place name holder guy. I don't know, but I really like that he was galvanized and miniature to sit into my tiered tray. And then also, sorry guys, I got some fabrics down here. I picked up some muslin cloth for DIYing. I needed some more in my stash and it was 40% off. So I always like to pick it up like half a yard or a yard when I can. Um, and then I also picked up this gorgeous Easter fabric. This will be so cute on a little bunny butt on his little paw pads as the plaid. How flipping cute. I can't wait. I think tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to spend all day crafting for Easter and I cannot wait. Um, and then I also picked up some burlap. This burnt orange burlap was on in like their clearance stout sections. So it was like $3 for a yard. So I got a yard and a half. I thought this would be perfect as little stuffed carrots. Come on, guys. That'll be so cute. And then I also picked up some cream and a more of a brownish burlap. Burlap is so fun to have on stat or in your um, stash to craft with because it's so farmhouse and so versatile. You can use anything with it. Okay. One more thing and then you get to meet my little friend. Look at this. This is so cute. I cannot wait to DIY with it. It was $3.49 with 40% off. 
I kind of wish they would have, like, hung the little tail, like, isn't the point of this to DIY yourself, to paint it yourself? So why would they go ahead and give him a tail? Like, I'm going to have to rip this off and then re-put it on or paint around it, one of the two. Anyways, I love the shape of it. I love how his little ear is bent. He is so cute. Like, I can't wait to DIY him. But you guys want to talk cute? Oh, my heart went flippity flop when I met this little guy. He had to come home with me. I do not care how much he cost. He was $3.49 for what I'm about to show you. But the cutest thing in the world. All right. Meet my little friend. <laughs> he is the cutest little ducky that has ever been known to man. Oh, he needs a name. He needs a name. We have got to name this gorgeous little baby duck. He had some chickadee friends, um, and there was another duck that looked the other way. I was actually, if you watched the shop with me, I found them all in a bag. They hadn't been put out yet, and they had the tag around one of the necks showing through the bag of three forty nine. dollars and I thought you got a set for three forty nine, dollars and I about flipped out, but I only got to bring him home because he's kind of pricey for what he is, but you guys, isn't he adorable? <laughs> He's the cutest. He's so cute. He's ceramic. He's heavy. He's good quality. And he needs a good name. So please help me name my little friend. I need a name for him. I usually like to do like David the Duck. So D with a duck, you know, but it doesn't have to be. He also looks like an Alfred. He's so cute. All right, you guys, that is it for what I spent my hard-earned money on. I have a Dollar Tree haul coming at you guys um, and then a shop with me as well for the Hobby Lobby. So you guys stick around. If it isn't already out, it'll be coming out soon. I hope everybody has a wonderful Valentine's Day. And until next time, you guys, I will talk at you later. Bye-bye now.